And one of the hotly contested issues in this year's election is refugees. Are we safe? Is it un-American to close our borders to them? Philly Cam Voices reporter Carolyn Davis took a walk in their shoes at a simulation workshop at the National Constitution Center to find out what their struggle is like. Away from political rhetoric that has distorted the topic of refugees fleeing their homelands, 54 people gathered on a recent spring day at the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia to participate in Between Borders, a refugee simulation experience put on by the Temple University Law and Public Policy Program with help from the Nationalities Service Center. The event's mission was to give participants a sense of what life is like for refugees, those who leave their country because of war or other threats. The simulation began with participants receiving refugee identities based on real people. Philly Cam Voices followed the fictional Canons of Damascus, mom, dad, and three children, as they reunited after fleeing their home in Syria, made their way to the Zatari refugee camp in neighboring Jordan, and eventually arrived in Philadelphia. My name is Marwan Kanan, 38, from Damascus. I was at home when the telephone rang. It was my wife. She told me that there had been a bomb at the school. I was in my fourth grade classroom when our school got attacked by a bomb. It was a barrel full of explosions. We were just opening our books to start class, and it's hard to describe the sound, but it was like a building coming apart. I ran to the other class to find my brother, and he was crying because of the sound. Our bus left, so we didn't know what to do. My brother is so smart. He ran to the market and called our mother. My mother always knows what to do. She waited until Dad got home. Things only got worse, so they had to come up with a plan to leave before someone really got hurt. Do you guys have your birth certificates? Okay. So we can't give you any assurances if we don't have any validation of your birth certificate, but you guys are going to be able to be fully processed, but we'll be sure to have you um, fill out these applications. Um, this isn't as fun as Damascus. <laughs> yeah. Our home there was really nice. Yeah, we had such a nice home. Um, I'm okay. really scared. I hope we stay together during this Welcome to the United States. Um, here you go. Here's your proof of residency. Welcome. We're so happy you're here. Your long journey is over. Here, the the timestamp on your card represents every 10 minutes represents a month. And typical refugee resettlement services are for the first 90 days in the U.S. So you have those first three months. Here is everything that you need to accomplish. All of your orientation materials. Everything that you need to know. The Canans and other participants spent the next hour doing what takes real refugees months, establishing a new life with doctors, schools, and jobs. After the simulation, Molly Walsh, who took on the identity of Marwan Kanan, talked about the experience. You know, you hear about these things on the news all the time, and it's always huge numbers on the radio, um, but it really made it feel very personal, this experience that all these people have. For Philly Cam Voices, this is Carolyn Davis.